Hello, 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 guys. It has been a minute. <laughs> um, been a minute since we uh, delved into my 60s journal here. Um, as you can see, it's reached the point where even squishing it under a book is not going to um, ungator mouth it. It's just, that's just, yeah. And as I've said previously, I don't mind this. I actually kind of like them being chunky like this. I love the feel it gives a book. Um, so what I'm going to be working on today, you'll see, you know, because I added these two lace pockets here and have them extended out the bottom of the page, I have this whole gap here where the pages are flat sandwiched in between these two lace bits. And, you know, we just can't have that. <laughs> um, and I'm not going to cover the, you know, like spine to spine to edge, you know, pages with lace down there. I've just got little bits cut out here and there um, just to kind of put to the bottoms of pages um, and just to add a little stuff, some extra stuff hanging out the bottom. Um, so I've gone through my drawer over there of random randomness. Um, it's not really, it's, it's part of my lace stack, my, my lace cabinet. Um, but it's like sheets of like tablecloth or whatever that is, um, crocheted or lacy of something. <laughs> Sorry. Just trying to trying to grab my remote <laughs> so that I could zoom in just a smidge here. And I bumped my microphone. <laughs> As I'll just realize that my my Roku was a little louder than I had intended. So stuff like this, you know, it's a it's part of a bigger piece. So I'm just gonna go through, like th this was from a dress. I have a whole whole bunch of that. Um, And I'm just going to add a little, a little something. See, I tore this out and I'm, I like the yellow flower, but I just cannot seem to. Oh, sorry. My nose is itching like crazy. Um, I just can't seem to make it work. <laughs> in any of my spots. Da, 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 da. Get my silicone spatula here. See, no rhyme or reason. Just leave it, you know, putting it on there. Kind of just leaving it hanging out the bottom. I have a very angry, <laughs> very angry stomach this morning. Well, I feel like a, a fire in my belly. Like that's indigestion. It's a heat going on in there. And then we're gonna make sure I'm gonna look over and I'm gonna scan, make sure that I'm on on screen. <laughs> A 
little bit more. Didn't quite go all the way over there. So, you know, I'm not going end to end. Um, just kind of adding, adding something to the bottoms of some of the pages, just like I said, just to give it some, some pizzazz. I do have some embellishment stuff. I've got my um, wax seals with ribbons on them. I also have these fabric um, flowers and bows. Looking to see if any of those colors that I like coming over. and Not really, as far as that goes. Butterfly, butterfly. Sure. And yes, this does add even more bulk into the journal. These are, I mean, they're not like uh, super thick, but they're not real thin either. And some of them are thicker than others. So yeah, I've been just kind of going through, going through the stuff over here um, with my medication issues. Um, it is what it is. And at this point, I think I'm going to go ahead and um, stay off my meds for a little bit and see, see how I do. Um, because what I have noticed over the last couple days, not being on it, is that, you know, some of the, some of the characteristics, for lack of a, a better word, <laughs> um, some of the things that, you know, have always been present about myself, like being, you know, being able to like quickly piece things together and, you know, stuff like that for the last, you know, I don't know how long. Cause I like, I don't know. I, I didn't realize that it wasn't happening like it used to. Um, but it hasn't been happening. Like I'm, I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm now realizing how much of a, a hole I've actually kind of been in and you know for to be on an antidepressant and still be you know in a hole in a rut um is counterproductive you know and granted I wasn't on the antidepressant it wasn't prescribed to me as an antidepressant I you know I think I said this um, I think I said this before, um, it was prescribed to me as pain management. Um, it just had the antidepressant benefits to it. Um, but I'm not, I haven't been experiencing the added benefits of the antidepressant for quite some time. Um, So, and I didn't realize that, you know, to be, to be perfectly honest about it, I didn't realize that I wasn't experiencing those serotonin stability until these last couple of days, not being on the medication. And then all of a sudden it was like, oh, 
holy moly, there, there's that, you know, that thing, you know, I'm suddenly, it's there. I'm, I'm making those, those mental connections again. And it's like, wow, I didn't realize, um, how dull out my senses had become with that medication. So I'm going to stay off of it for a little bit and see, like I said, see where, see where it goes. I mean, it's not like my pharmacy is doing anything to uh, help me get it filled anyway. But, um, yeah. So nothing real major here. Um, just kind of, like I said, I'm just kind of adding a little bit here and a little bit there. And, and, and a majority of this is about creating the, you know, the hangover. But, you know, I don't want to just put like a random, you know, let me just throw a piece of lace on there, you know. Like here, this pocket was already embellished, um, so I'm not going to add anything on top of the lace there. Um, this, I added something on top of it. This is pretty decorative, you know, by itself because of the style. So I'm going to leave that the way it is. Um this, you know, obviously putting something on top of the lace just to kind of give it a, a next level, a next level decoration. Now, <laughs> I will say that um, in talking about, you know, liking, liking my journals on the chunky side, um, you know, liking that, liking them gator mouth. Um, I'm kind of wishing, and it's too late to, you know, obviously too late to do anything about it. Um, wishing that I had done the cover on this one first, uh, because now I got to figure out how to cover, <laughs> I could have figured out how to cover the cover. <laughs> um, when it's not flat. Oh. Sorry, again, squeaky chair. <laughs> Excuse me. Trying to keep my throat happy. It's been very scratchy and itchy and dry. Um, since this medication issue has come up and uh, of course I locked it up and this is whoops just sent some stuff flying to the floor um, this is a side effect it is part of the withdrawal syndrome um, not a whole heck of a lot I can do about it so all I can do is try to mediate it as much as I can um, and try not to try not to subject you guys to the constant clearing of my throat. So I was kind of, I pulled out, um, from my box, I have all the little cutoffs. You know, these are from the Volkswagen buses. This is the, the rings here. And then over here I have the dots from here and here. <coughs> all right, put a put a lozenge in there and see if that helps. And I was thinking, 
about using some of them down in here. But not really liking that. So, um, thinking I want, I'm still thinking I want a flower of some sort there. Um, so let me dig into my die cut. I also have hearts. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know how much, I don't know if you guys can hear my vacuum cleaner. It's like bouncing up against a wall right now. So I do have little hearts. <laughs> okay, I was originally thinking flower. I like hearts better. Ouch! I just ouch. Mm. Mama Mia. <laughs> Just gave myself a paper cut with cardstock. Ouch! <laughs> I'm going to pause you for a minute though because I need to blow my nose. Not pause. Mute. <laughs> Come on. Do you have to get my die cutting back out? Get busy doing, working on that still. Um, like I've said in other in other videos that um, I'm currently die cut, doing specific, you know requested die cuts um, for members of the Facebook group that I'm in, and so. Because I have to, you know, trek into town to get things mailed off. I want to, like, try to get them all cut so I can mail them all out at one time rather than making multiple trips into town. I think that kind of brings in some of this color, too. Almost like I want a word there. Let's see if I whoop. Let's see if I have anything little in here. So I do have these that are printed on the pink, but that blends in, doesn't it? You have to be odd to be number one. But obviously, I would trim that down. But why is this not sticking? Oh, because there's more than one. Okay. So, since we're, we're just going to fix that, I'm like, what is the deal here? 
So we're just going to glue the two hearts together and <laughs> we're going to fix that. Like, where did my red go? So there was two of those red hearts. So the, the bottom one got glued to the book and the top one got glued to the pink heart. So I'm like, what is going on here? So they were completely separated. I'm like, what? What the what? So I do have like these. I don't know how many of those words I have printed or stamped out though. I really need to file these. Sunshine forever. Okay, here's that. Then I have these. This was, this is sticker page, sticker paper. You might be able to see that there's like lines, like boxes back and behind it. They were so, I was going to cut these out, but they're so faded or faded, you know, like into the background that I can't see them. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. And yeah, I think I, I was debating on whether or not um, I wanted to back it or if I wanted to just put the, you know, just to put this label, you know, like this. But yeah, I think I'm going to. Not that you're going to be able to see like what the stamped image is behind it. But, you know, just, just gives it just a little bit of a frame. I'll let that dry for a sec. Slide that up underneath. really shouldn't be trying to do this tedious stuff. My hands are still very shaky from medication withdrawals. So. Ta-da! <coughs> Sorry, as I turn toward the microphone, to cough. Okay. I'm still struggling with this page. It's like, ah. 
time. And I've got this yellow again. Um, and I was originally going to put it on this side. Let's see. I guess I haven't. So I've gone left. Left. Right. 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 There's again, but I seem to keep putting it all on the same side, but not really. And I'm thinking I'm just going to scrunch it up. Put a decent amount of glue there. Lay this down. I'm just going to scrunch, scrunch, kind of like making a fabric ruffle in a way. And then... I'm just going to clean it up. Get things glued so that they stay down. Again, that's just giving something a little hangy out the bottom. I think that. That's it. Yes. Oop. Getting hung up on my cord. All right. So then, rather than having just those two, these two pieces of lace here and here, I got some, just a little something, something hanging out the bottom. Giving it some decoration. Let me put these away. Where did my little plastic bag go that those were in? Oh, there it is. Underneath the box. Let me use these on the cover. We shall see. Okay. There's those. Sweep these off into the box. Place in the garbage. We're going to put this away. And then I'm going to pull out my stack of scraps. These are my scraps from this. Mostly from this journal. Okay. So I do have some lace that I've cut off for my cover. Um, I also have like the most obnoxious lime green sequined dress somewhere I bought specifically for this cover. And I'll be darned if I can find it. I'm like, how do you lose a sequined lime green dress? <laughs> like, somehow matter. I've managed. Somehow I've managed. 
So for this cover, we're just going to do crazy out. Thank you. Um, we're just going to collage. And I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac. So I want it to hold. I want it to hold well. Okay. And then here we're going to do the angled trim for the wraparound. So it's kind of like almost like creating a hospital corner um, like this, cutting the corner out. And then that gives you the ability to fold these and debulk that corner. <clears throat> well, okay, not sticking. No vacuum. No. Watch in today. No. Turn around. Exit. Exit. All right, I'm still sorting stuff in here. Um, let's see. I have piles of paper in various spots on my craft room floor. The last thing I need is my vacuum cleaner. My shark coming in and, you know, running them over and getting all hung up. Okay, we're just gonna, we're gonna give that some assistance there. Glow is so strong. Sorry, I realized that I'm off camera again doing this corner. We're going to bring this around. Oof. Those away. Okay, I'm just gonna continue to collage this. And this is just going to be my my 
my base, my bottom, my bottom layer of this cover. And we're just kind of going across. Getting that in. It's crazy. I woke up this morning and our news feed is uh, wishing a happy birthday to... Little Sophia Juarez, she um, disappeared from our community 21 years ago. The night before her fifth birthday. And she's never been found. A lot of her family is still in this community. Um. However, her, her mother her has had passed away, I mean, just a few years after the incident occurred, her mom passed away. Um, but I just couldn't imagine as a mom, you know, she passed away not knowing what happened to her little girl. And it's like, how sad is that? Um, but Sophia was the first ever. Amber Alert issued in the state of Washington. But her disappearance has, you know, definitely left an indelible impression upon this community. Anybody that's lived here, you know, that long remembers her. We remember the day. We remember, you yeah, know, we remember <laughs> We remember the search parties. A lot of us participated in those search parties, you know, trying to find her um, to no avail. We had had a glimmer of hope um, that like two years ago, I think. Um, a TikTok video went viral and I mean, it gave us all so much hope because the girl that was on the video looked so, so much like what, I mean, I mean so much like her. It was uncanny how much she, you know, looked like. You know, well, we obviously, I mean, obviously we don't know what she would look like 25, you know, 21 years later. But, you know, we can, we can imagine. I mean, she had the most beautiful, adorable little freckles or not freckles, but um, dimples, you know, and imagine that, you know, she grew up with those same dimples, you know, and as a, a 26 year old girl, her dimples are probably still there. You know, and this girl that came across on TikTok had, you know, had deep cheek dimples just like Sophia did. And her her story, you know, of not knowing who she was. I mean, this this girl on TikTok, like, doesn't even know how old she is because her family had been so secretive about her life. And, you know, so a lot of, a lot of the pieces fit, right. That this could potentially have been her. Um, and so we were all very, very hopeful. And then the girl, dis the, the girl disappeared for a little bit. Couldn't figure out, you know, everybody was like, where did she go after the video hit? She like vanished. And, um, some of the family in Mexico came out and said, you know, was saying this, uh, she's not Sophia. She's, 
she's ill, she has a substance use problem, you know, da 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 da, and it discounted um, what was being said as far as like, you know, Sophia was concerned. Well, many, many, many months went by, and um, obviously, our police department was on top of on top of it because hello, <laughs> we were all screaming to the police department, please follow up on this. Um, but they did finally get down to Mexico and got a blood test run on her, and it turned out the DNA did not match um, known family members that still live in this community. And so it was like, man, that, that was a major, that was a major blow. Cause you know, obviously, I mean, it was literally like the first hint of hope in all these years that, you know, she may still be alive and it, it got dashed so quickly and it was so sad. We had so hoped it was her. You know, and so many of it, I mean, it's just, at this point, it's about closure. You know, this, this little girl's disappearance has, you know, haunted our community all these years. And, you know, we still don't have any we still don't have any answers. It, you know, it's it's been rough, you know, and it's been rough on us as a community. So I mean, imagine imagine what the family goes through. You know, as anniversaries come and go and I just didn't want any flat edges on this one or straight edges. But yeah, today is her 26th birthday. Yesterday, obviously, would be in the anniversary of her disappearance. And we've definitely had a couple, you know, a couple incidences where it was like, oh, you know, we had, um, it's going to sound, sound a little morbid, but we, there was a, a couple years ago, somebody found a, a child's foot buried on their property. And it was still in a foot was still in the tennis shoe. Um, you know, so it, it, it peaked up. Oh, please, you know, please let it be. You know, not not because anybody is hoping that she has passed away, you know, but everybody at this point, we just want, we just want closure. We want, you know, an answer. You know, and, and we want it not only for the community, but for the family to have, you know, have an answer as to what happened to you know, their, their little niece, their cousin, their, you know, their granddaughter, 
you know, whatever relation she was to people, you know, most just want, just want closure one way or the other. And it's hard to have these anniversaries come and go and still not have, you know, still not have them. So I'm just using a piece of scrap fabric to kind of like help smoosh and spread that glue around because um, normally I would have my um, my green rag out, but I don't. I don't. We're just going to tear this down. We're going to put a, a cloud right there. feel a sneeze coming on. It's drying. Let's see. Just need a little piece right there. Turn around because I don't want straight edge. Ooh, that glue's giving me a little bit of a headache today. Flip this over and do the back same way. this over. Got all these little tear off pieces gathering. Again, off camera, my apologies. It's just easier to do, you know, that corner 
just to snip it off camera than it is to try to get it into view. So, let me clean up a little bit of my mask going over here. Now, if you have a really strong, trustworthy glue stick, you could do this cover like this with the glue stick. Um, or if you were going to like um, Mod Podge over the surface, you could definitely use a glue stick. Um, I don't trust my particular glue stick um, to do this cover because the cover is got some texture to it. Um, and I'm not super confident that the glue would hold it. So that's why I'm using my Fabri-Tac. Now, if doing that, when you're doing this, if you happen to muck up your corner, um, in my case, I'm not worried about it because I will be adding um, metal book corners also. Um, so I'm not worried like this right here, like the corners, the corner is goobered up right here because that'll be covered up. You know, I could trim it off. I could tear it off. Um, I can leave it, whatever, because my corners will be covered eventually. Scrolling through my pile here for pieces that are already torn off. Flip you over to this side. Lots of craziness going on with the clips here <laughs> right now. And that's just, I mean, it's just about holding in place so that I don't have to sit here and like hold it. Um, I just let the glue do its thing and keep her moving. Like, where do I want this? And I'm gonna go right there. Oh, my head is throbbing, throbbing, my head is throbbing.
And I'm not really looking forward to the reality that the withdrawal from this medication could take a month. <laughs> but, I mean, hopefully I'm more on the other, <laughs> the other end of that spectrum. Um, and, you know, I fall at the two-week mark rather than the four-week mark. But we shall see. But yeah, it says two to four weeks. Right now I'm feeling like the worst part of it is you know well a the gastro part my my gut is very unhappy with this whole process um like i said i've got like major I've got a fire in my belly like literally it feels like you know it feels like i got somebody's you know roasting marshmallows in my stomach but um I definitely feel like like the stomach upset and the headache so far have been the worst parts of it. I'm definitely feeling the quote unquote flu like symptoms. Um, but you know, not a whole heck of a lot that I can do about it, but I roll with the punches. and keep my fingers crossed that I process through quickly. My nose is driving me crazy right now. It's itching. So I need to put something here. Um, got some of the some of the books showing through. Let's do it. <laughs> Ta -da! Go this way. That's just fixing my oops. I just tore in such a way that um, I left a little bit of the original book cover showing through, and I didn't want that. Why am I itching? I 
I say that as if I don't know the answer. Why am I aging? I know exactly why I'm aging. It was a facetious question. Rhetorical question. I put that up there and get this piece used and off my desk space. Oh. <laughs> Love these little pink clips. Got them at the dollar store. They're like phenomenal little clippy clippies. Okay, we can put those aside. We can put this aside. Do have this piece. Let's get rid of the straight edge since I'm trying to cover us cover a straight edge. So let's not cover a straight edge with another one. Well, that was a horrible tearing. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. That was horrendous. I don't know if there's... I'm going to be able to use this. It's like, yeah. Okay. We're going to figure out how to use it. Go right there, I guess. Okay. Let's get other little pieces in here. Not that I can see. Let's see. Get rid of this uh, straight edge here. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
one little piece for Rattler. And so I tore out this rectangle piece. I'm going to go through and tear off all four edges. So that I have torn edges all the way around instead of some torn and some cut. Whether that's I cut it or manufacturer cut, either way. Well, put these. So I have a, a stand of sorts in front of me. Um, and so, yeah, I just take these and I hook them to the legs. <laughs> okay. So then... Going to get my garbage. And I'm not going to worry about covering this because, again, this is the part that's supposed to be covered with that crazy lime green sequined fabric. <laughs> that has left me scratching my head <laughs> trying to figure out how I've managed to misplace the brightest piece of fabric yet I've managed it. So I'm bringing the box O stuff back out. Um, Just because I do have like all of these, you know, shapes and stuff already cut out and I want to use them. I don't want to throw them away. So um, I'm just going to randomly glue them about. And because I'm going paper on paper, I can actually use my glue stick this time. Dump those in there. This is just a uh, 60s crazy ing up crazy ing up the cover. No rhyme or reason. Just grabbing, sticking, grabbing, sticking. I do only have, I think, two um, peace symbols left, <laughs> though, so. That blended pink on pink.
Again, we're just randomly, randomly sticking. This is randomly not sticking. I have no idea what, like, I got videos playing on my Roku. And I was actually watching one of my people that I subscribe to. And then, uh, yeah, I <laughs> transferred over to a completely different channel and a completely different topic. I don't want to like super over. Whoop. something up in that corner. All right. I feel like flip this over, do the same thing on the back. Again, no rhyme, no reason, just using up the scraps that were left over. So I don't have to throw them away. I don't have to worry about storing them. <laughs> okay, we're going to. Since you don't want to unglue from my finger. <laughs> Fingers are like super gluey. This is definitely outside, outside my normal aesthetic. Um, but I feel like, you know, if I'm going to, I'm going to do something crazy and outside what I would normally do, a 60s journal is a perfect time to do it, right?
kind of the perfect venue, perfect outlet. Okay. I have one piece symbol. It's very light colored, so I want to put it somewhere against against somewhere. Or it's going to pop. <laughs> Nothing major here, just, uh, yeah, like I said, just using up what's here. A little bit of a, a glue goober there. It's still very early in my day, so. Come on. <laughs> These hearts can be tricky because, you know, they're jaggedy on the bottom, you know, because they have the the words kind of stamped out of them. And so running it over my glue stick and it's like, it's digging in and kind of chewing up my, my glue stick a little bit. My stomach's growling. It's like, hello. It's probably time to get some sustenance into your belly. Oh, 
and I just looked up at the time and realized that I have been on here almost an hour and a half doing this. So <laughs> so there's the beginnings of our cover. So I just have a couple little dots in here that I'm going to go ahead and throw away. Couple more rings. Just gonna throw them away. Set that off to the side. Let's bring. Woo! I'm stuck. <laughs> As glued to my glue page. Let's zoom me out a smidge. All right, so thanks for coming along with me on this little journey, part of this journey. Um, I'm going to go ahead and seal this off camera. Um, it's just, I'm just going to seal it with some watered down um, PVA Elmer's glue um, just to kind of like seal it up. Um, and then I will think about what I'm going to do on the next steps of this. In the meantime, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would greatly appreciate it. And um, hit the notification bell and keep an eye out for um, my next videos. Bye-bye.